Hi, well, I'm just going to show you a quick assembly program which I just wrote, which um, uses XOR to encrypt a plain text file. So basically, here is the encrypt file. If I spell it right. Start off with a model dot model stack um, small dot model small, then the dot stack 100 hexadecimal that is the size of the stack, then a variable called xorval239. Now that variable can be anything between 0 to 255, so that is the actual encryption pattern. Then there's the code segment, dot .code, it will say main proc, move into AX, the data segment, there's some comments, move into DS, AX, now that initializes data to the data segment, then LI is the label, now that label is what we're going to be jumping to here. But first off the label is move into AH, that is a register, the number 6. Now that function number 6 is direct console input. Then you move into DL, 0FFH, that's H for hexadecimal, 0FFH. And that is don't wait for character. int21 calls DOS so with AH loaded with 6 and DL loaded with 0 FFH there the register is loaded and int21 calls it DOS then it's jump if 0 to L2 that basically means quit Quit if F quit if zero flag ZF equals one. That means the end of file EOF. So now we're moving AL Oh no not moving, it's XOR XOR Val and AL. So basically in AL is the character we've just received from the int twenty one. DOS command to actually receive a console input to the program and we're XORing the value then we're moving that value moving a value 2 to AH now when you put 2 in AH it basically calls a function right to output now move AL into DL then int 21 then jump to L1 to repeat the loop now that int 21 again is a call to DOS finally after we exit the whole file after we've gone through the whole file we become down to L2 because of this jump of 0 this jump to 0 will go to L2 when the zero flag equals zero equals one that means there's no, no more data left and this will move move into AX 4C 00H hexadecimal that is the command to return to DOS then we call int 21 on that that's the call for DOS main NP and main main endpoint NP and main now we're gonna exit this now here again is DOS 
I'm sorry it's not a very good colour. White's not the best colour for this. But I created a simple file called coded. Well, here's my file called coded. Let's put something in there. Bo Riddler is a hacksaw. Bang. Alt file, save that. Alt file, exit that. Then we directory it. There it is. Coded. 24 bytes long. Created 14th, 5th on the 25th. So now we're going to call the encrypt command. Now this is how you run it. It's encrypt less than plain text greater than coded I've done this wrong you know it should be coded now we're going to do this right if we're going to do it at so all we're going to edit plain text and here get rid of that we'll put Bo Riddler is a hacks or oh, bang alt file save alt file exit directory we're gonna delete coded and we've got the plain text file we've just got um, Bo Riddler is a hacksaw in it. Now we're going to look for that. Here it is. Encrypt less than plain text output, which is greater than coded. So plain text is going into encrypt. The console input, like we said, was 6 into AH or AL, I can't remember. And it's outputting it to coded. So we're going to press enter on that. Now then, we edit. Coded. This is the output file of Encrypt, and there's your output. It's all encrypted up from that XOR function. Now, to get the data back, you simply Encrypt put coded in. Output to plain text. Now I've spelt text slightly differently there with no e. Now we edit plain text and it should be decrypted. There we go. Bowridler is a hacksaw and it's all decrypted. Now that is a simple assembler file wrote in a few lines of code and it's an encryption utility now I may be making this available for download the actual DOS program which will, and I'm running this under XP it will run on the Vista as well and Windows 95 all the way up you know it's a simple DOS program so if you want to download it check out um, apionetworks.com it should be in the description peace